Salam Tana, and I am Greetings to the subscribers, Ethiopian World Net, Ethiopian World Net, and they are Rasia Dino Stefari Neng. I am Wendem Yada. All right, brothers and sisters, this is another. This is part two of this particular. You know, um, we're doing a little must see, so we're just checking out. Um, with some of the subscriptions here on our website. So let's bring this back to the Paul Newman, this Exodus. Okay, so we're talking about this movie, The Exodus. We're saying that this movie is a must-see. There's some rare historical shots of the Ethiopian Orthodox Church. There's a, a couple of scenes in there. If you pay attention at a certain point in the film, you actually get to see um, his and Her Majesty's coronation, Kadamawi Haile Selassie, and um, Kedemawit Waleta Georgis, His and Her Majesty. Um, it takes place around the time of, um, after World War II, when the Jews, or the European Jews, the theme of this, of, of this is the founding of the state of Israel. Now, there's a lot of bearing in this film and the whole history of this with the Ethiopian World Federation. So we're calling this a must-see, a must-see film. We call this film a must-see film for all true and faithful Ethiopian World Federation people, all of our people, all the Ethiopian Hebrews, the lost sheep, elect Aras, the Fari. There's much that we can learn. You know what I'm saying? Much we, we can learn from this particular film. And I didn't get it years ago. In fact, this particular film, I was just watching it one day, and I began. it began all to really make sense. Um learning from that example of the Jews who call themselves Jews. Because if you look at the two quotes in Revelation, there's one, those who call themselves Jews who are not, and there's the others who will recognize I and I struggle, the true struggle, and, and, and the true let my people go, for we as the once lost but now found base to Israel. So this right here, the action I left off before, where it said that the action, it begins on a ship that's filled with um, European Jewish immigrants who are bound for the state of, or bound for Israel, who are bound for um, Palestine back at that particular time. And here's the wiki page on it, so you can check out this wiki page. There's more at this wiki page, and the film is on the YouTubes. And we're, we're saying this film is one of the must-see. This film right here is the must-see Exodus. So when we speak about Exodus, the movement of Jah people, how real this is. So, um, for the Federation, we as the Ethiopian World Federation, we know we're in a very difficult time vis-a-vis -vis the organization. But we're not the only ones who have gone through this. Others have gone through this with the same faith-based claims. So we need to learn from the example of others. And this is why we're saying this particular film here this particular film is a is, is, is a must is a must see a, a, a recommended one of the recommended films for I and I for I and I people and especially for the EWF especially for us in the Ethiopian World Federation and we're speaking about the Promised Land we're speaking about Shashimani we're speaking about Exodus there's much that we can learn from this particular film we're going to go through this film. Um, some of the scenes and stuff like that and highlight a little bit later on. It's actually on right now on um, this, that, that, that new station, this TV. So we're watching it and we said, all right, what we'll do right here is we will, um, you know, do this vid right here, let ones know about it, you know, what the film is about, and then go into more detail and, um, you know, explain a little bit more on it as we go forward. All right, so once again, this particular film right here, Paul Newman, I think it's one of probably Paul Newman's best, best films. But for us as a diaspora, learning wisdom and techniques and what it really takes, you understand the real, the real spree de corps that it really takes for a people. And remember, these are the wild olives, as Paul says in the Bible, that, uh, that we are the natural branches of Beta Israel, the black sheep, the lost black sheep, but we were broken off and other wild olive trees were grafted in. So we're coming to this time 
this new age, this new day, when the wild olive trees who are grafted in are being broken off and the natural branches, we, the natural branches, are once again being um, grafted in to our own vine and to our own fig tree. So brothers and sisters, check it out. Subscribe, tell your friends, your brothers and sisters, start study groups, your over fan member to watch and pray. And then check us out on the web as well. And those who have been linking up with us, if we haven't linked with you as of yet, please be patient. Please even send another link, a reminder in love. You understand? Send a reminder to I and I in love and um, with faith, courage, and a just cause. I and I have overcome because it is written, Shalom Ras Teferi.